You ready to come back in? Uh, I guess it's about, let me see what time it is. It is um, uh, about a quarter after seven o'clock this morning. Oh, I guess he ain't ready. Okay, but what I'm getting ready to do is go outside and um, I wanted to see if these frogs were still up under here. They've been there for two days now. I know yesterday when I came out, yesterday morning when I came out to water my garden, the uh, they were still there. But this is some of my rainwater, but I left them some in there and put the black plastic bag so they could have shade. And when I, yesterday, so let's see if the third day, if they're still here. There's one. It was supposed to be two. Where your friend at? Where your friend at? I don't know. I guess he'll come back. Where you went at? Where you at that fat? Oh, there you go. There you go. Well, all right. Let me let you go. I'm going to let these get a little more redder before I take them. Harvest those. That's the tomatoes. Corn. I don't know. They're taking their poor sweet time about getting some size on them. I see. Um, you know, it's just taking time for them to get of size. I see a bigger tomato over there. And I'm gonna let this get a little bit bigger. Uh, oh, oh boy, there's one way in there. And I hope it's not too big. I be saying I'm going to let it stay one more day. And next thing I know, stuff has grown double. So I think I'm going to get this one. No, nah, I can let it stay one more day. I can let those two stay one more day. Let's show. Oh, these over here look like they're ready. I'm going to harvest these two. Oh, that broke off. And that one got a little yellower than I would make them. But one thing I learned about my garden, I don't have big grown produce. Mine is small because I guess I'm not buying too much of the fertilizers that's needed. I might as well go on and get this one. I'm going to get that one. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess that one can stay. The asparagus. I had added this wheat straw. I'm hoping that didn't take turn it lighter. It looks lighter. It used to be darker green, but I'm hoping that this wheat straw didn't turn it light green. But my grapes, they've seemed to hope they're not dying. I just hope they're going dormant for the winter because our trees are changing. Already our trees are changing colors for fall. But yeah, my blue bear, blackberries, they're starting to die back. I'm hoping, like I said. Also, me putting this wheat straw down, I'm getting ready for winter. I will be putting um, wheat straw to mulch my areas over the winter. Yeah. But... 
Uh, let's go and see. Oh, okay. Uh, were there any strawberries this morning? That one there looked ready to eat, and it's very small. So is that one very small, but they are fully deep and red. Okay, no more strawberries today. Our oregano growing back good. My mint growing back good. Flowers have been given some beautiful colors. Purple, red. Um, peanuts, they're doing what they do. Uh, there's one tiny okra trying to come up. I don't know, me and okra, I'm going to have to try it again next season. But, uh, yeah, I planted the stalks back in the ground. They could stay, they could stay. One thing I noticed what this wheat straw did was it made, it, the, it, the uh, sweet potatoes sure liked it. They stood right on up. I don't know what's going on. I'm just leaving these in here. It's not really purposeful, but I'm just leaving them. I put that on in the compost. You put this in the compost. Uh, real quick, I'll go and give a quick show of the... Um, oh, I think I saw a wilted like a cucumber for the first time i saw a cucumber somewhere yesterday um i don't see it now i did plant cucumbers wow and it's just started i know i seen a cucumber somewhere thought it was over here but anyway Maybe it was over here. There's no peppers. This, this stuff take a long time. This pepper trees, they ain't growing no size, but I probably will be pulling them up for the winter and keeping them planted. That's, a, that's that tomato right there. And again, I don't see hardly no corn stalks. That's one right there. They're small. But um, where did I see that cucumber? But anyway, real quick, I'll go and just do a quick show of my high tunnel. Oh, real quick, cause uh, I'm ready to go in now. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, I almost forgot why I came in here. But um, I think this was dra passion fruit, dragon fruit, or it's one of them type fruits with all those seeds in it. Uh, it wasn't dragon fruit, I know that. My pineapple died back, and that bad boy came back strong. It, it, it was growing so good, but then it died back, and they're, they're happy. More peanuts. This is Callaloo, amaranth, I don't know. Peppers. That might be a weed. I don't know what that is. Strawberries. That's my avocados. And over here are the avocados. My lemons. Uh, beet greens. Yes, the uh, day before I bought some celery and green onions so I could keep those growing. And my stevia, uh, more avocados. The peppers are finally trying to bloom. Look at that. The peppers are blooming, so that means peppers will show up. And again, more avocados. And I will be cutting off the um, the grapevine 
they they look like they had they've spent all what was there they're ready to go in dormancy and that's a lot of the wheat straw that I gathered was able to come across and yeah that's that so now before the sun come up my goal is to take the rest of the pine needles off of that top level roof right there I'm not getting up top because it's slanted and I'm not going up a roof like that right now I ain't trying to challenge that but I do have a footstool that I will be stepping up on and cleaning out those gutters right there all right let's walk around to hatchet so hatchet can close it out All right, we're going in. Say bye. Tell the people bye. Say y'all have a nice day. Have a nice day. <laughs> this is a couple of days harvest of my squash and tomatoes. And these couple of little tiny strawberries I picked this morning. <laughs> but yeah, this is two days worth of squash and tomatoes.